tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. To run a fleet of tugs, you have to be prepared to take on any job. One of the most difficult and dangerous was handling the big naval munition ships. On this day, I remember Hercules had towed the naval tramper cracker tow in from the base up the coast. Usually a familiar and safe routine. But it had been a rough journey, real rough. And as if that wasn't enough, he had to suffer Blue Nose, the officious naval tug. Attention! Attention! Attention, nothing. I'm finished here, old darling. Moving out. And uh, you don't know to let check things out. Check all you like, sweetheart. I'm needed elsewhere. You're under Navy jurisdiction. Obey orders and wait late me my inspection. I am under jurisdiction. Captain Stars, a little wake washer like you doesn't tell me what to do. Aha! Uh -huh. We'll see about that, laddie. Hercules, here, wait. Stay right where you are. There's an order. Hello. Come, star civilian. I'll get you in a naval convoy one day and I'll teach you a lesson or two. And then you'll know what orders are all about. Yuck, that blue nose. He's orders mad. Orders come before common sense in naval terms. Uh, I better Barney with him too, Hercules. Keep those boys in line, he shouts. As if I haven't done this job every naval exercise. Report to me when you're finished, he says. Thinks I'm too old for this work, he does. Hey, hey, do you know what they're doing? They're loading munitions and taking fuel aboard the same ship. <laughs> Dangerous seamanship, that is. Well, OJ, my dear, I'm going to have me a bit of a rest at the coal depot. It's been a hard tow and I feel a bit low. Yeah, oh, oh. Keep them in line, straight as a row of marines. I'll check them after I've done my inspection. We should work together, not fight each other. Never fought when I was a young tug. Ahoy now! Ahoy now! You! Oi! You! Red thing! Collect some fire bodies and proceed to the fire practice area now! I'm standing by, waiting for orders to proceed to the old dock. And those orders are cancelled, and I am in charge. Fire practice now. And I don't leave it till I tell you. Do I make myself clear? And now move! Faster they flame! Faster they flame! Aye aye, sir. Right, Starfleet, we're on servicing naval manoeuvres again. OJ's laying marker boys in the old dock area. Remember, no shortcuts. Use the official entry. You all know the Navy. Don't grumble. It's a good regular contract. Just get on with it. Your loads are munitions. You're lucky. Zed Stack's fleet have got the explosives. <laughs> so give them a wide berth. Make myself clear, warrior. No high wakes. I don't make high wakes, Captain Star. No, sir. Not much. Daily garbage detail for you. Oh, this means we'll have blue nose faffing around us. I can't stand that tug. What a terrible bore he is with his orders, isn't he? You do the garbage detail, then. <laughs> Me? How can you suggest such a thing? And less talk from you, Top Hat, yeah. or you will find yourself on garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny. It would ruin my image. Okay, crew, stow it. Top Hat. Yeah. Car floats for you, and don't argue, just go. Do I have to earn a living with this motley crew? Right. Captain Stark, we've like just about had enough of Top Hat's insults. Right. He's more trouble than he's worth. Aye, and you said that wasn't very much, didn't you, Ten Cents, eh? <laughs> I said, screw it. Ten Cents, go to Lucky's, pick up the brand new Starline oil barge, get it filled and take it to the naval yard. Right, sir. Well said, Ten Cents. He's a pain in the funnel. <laughs> the way he moves his head about, I'd say he's a pain in the neck. <laughs> That's right. Sunshine, go to the canal, pick up Mighty Mo. They finished the work on the bridge. Take him home. All right, aye. Good. I like Mighty Mo. Big Mac, 
Thanks for winning us the steel contract. That's okay, sir. You pick up the last girder barge, then back here. The Z-Stacks were upriver at the munitions factory. They were there to collect explosives for the Navy. It was a very dangerous operation, but worth a great deal of money to Captain Zero, who had put Zoran in charge. Now listen, you two. Towing this lot's the tricky bit. Zack, move off first. Right. Go slow and don't take any nonsense from the star mob. Show them explosives don't scare us. If they come too close, just blow them up. Yeah, but with your hooter dummy. No silly games, okay? You don't have to be that brave. Okay, Zorin. Sir. And watch out for the naval twerp, Blue Nose. Your job is to deliver that barge directly to the naval tramper Krakatoa. If Blue Nose gives you different orders, ignore him and refer him to me. Just keep it steady. Keep flying that danger flag. Zebedee, next. That Blue Nose told me he was in charge and that I must obey orders. You are mine, remember that. Well, remember that, Talon, sir. Eat your heart out, Star Stacks. This trip's worth 20 garbage barges, ferry trips, or girder toes. <laughs> if we don't get blown up. Right. Easy does it. You're in my way and you're idle. I don't like idle tugs, so move and move fast, that is an order. Oi! Oi! Oh, you naval twit! You scrapped a brand new barge deliberately! I gave an order to move out of my way. This harbour is the most undisciplined I've ever walked in. If I order you to jump, you jump. That barge is conscripted for a naval purpose. And if I want to scrape it, I will. I'll scrape you too if you don't get to your post on time. I'm always on time, and you know it. Uh, you'd better be, or I'll have you clapped in dry dock. It's about time you fancy stars started living up to your name. Now, get some steam in your boiler and start turning your screw. Mobilisation, that is what I want. Mobilisation! Oi! Oi, you, come back here! Oi, you just scraped it again! Oi! Z-Stacks are bad enough, but Bluno, oh, he's something else. Night came down fast. Dock lights helped Big Mickey transfer explosives to the naval tramper Krakatoa. The Z-Stacks were moored off. All were shot of their dangerous loads except Zoran, now being unloaded. One last-minute slip-up could mean disaster. I'll be glad to get rid of this lot. Attention! Attention! Oh no, here we go. Hey, come alongside! Move aside! You with a circle on your funnel, move! Ain't what mean me, mister, do you? Yeah, you, mister. Move that barge. My load's fast. You shouldn't move a barge that's being unloaded. Get pension off, old timer. This is my pool, eh? See what goes. Nah. Go and draw your pension, OJ, you bastard. <laughs> Shut it, the paddle is right. We're not moving that barge, mister. I want this fuel unloaded now. Wait, you, Gorky, drop your rook into this baby. Hey, leave the munitions right now. Uh, it's a brave tug all this assault crane around. <laughs> yeah, nobody tells Big Mickey what to do. Well, I do, and I'm in charge, so obey orders. Yeah, what's going on? Schedule says I'm next. Uh, don't you start, laddie. Wait your turn. Watch him. Yeah, I'm coming alongside. This barge has to be unloaded. I've got orders too. Whose orders? Captain Star's orders. I'm coming alongside. Ha <laughs> ha, we'll see about that. Now just move aside and let me through. Bruno, stay back. That barge is unsafe. Do not give me orders. If I want to move, I move. I told you to move that. Now look what happened there. You dummy. Oh no, start engines, quick. I'm in charge. Stay where you are. No way. I know what's on that barge. Get clear. The whole thing's gonna blow. Stay where you are. Emergency, emergency. Clear the area immediately. They still ain't obey order. Move out, move out. Save yourselves. Ten cents. Cut your barge rope and pull free. My barge is clear, but Blue Nose is blocking the way. I know what to do. Stay still and do penny. Oh, come on, Blue Nose. Cast off. Let's get out of here. Hey, can't. Hey, can't. Hey, call! Try harder, go on! My engine's cut out! OJ, okay. his engine's out, I'm going into hell! Don't be a fool, Ten Cent! Get out of there! He's right, move! He's got himself into this! Leave him! It's too dangerous, Ten Cent! You're coming with me, Blue Nose! Keep going, Ten Cent! Keep going! 
The trap was on fire! It'll blow any second! Do you move me? They've got me, me orders and they orders say they have blued in fuel out. We can load all you want after I'll get you out of here. Hey, OJ, what shall I do with him? Put him at the back, out the way. We don't want any more of his orders. Why? This is a mutiny. Take me back immediately. Obey orders. Obey orders. Orders is orders. <laughs> It's going over! Here we are! I'm Jim Clear! Just hope Mickey gets it right, otherwise he'll sink us all. Big Mickey! Oh, he's done it. He's falling sideways. Too close for comfort. It took real skill to make that move. He saved us all for sure. But the fire's getting out of control. Yeah, they were the siren for sure. The fire juggle reaches us any minute. Just wish it were here now. Fire tug won't be much good. Look at that trapper! Someone's having a dockside celebration. No, no. If there was a party, I would have been invited. Perhaps they don't need a long-necked highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. Certainly wouldn't want low lives like you there. What's that? Emergency! Emergency! Get them tied off and follow on top, Ed. Might need all aid. Yeah, follow on top, Hut. Fire at your dock. I'd love to join you, but these two are in a right state. Always our fault, eh, Frank? Never is, I eh, Eddie? He could take us along. Like to see a fire. Well, the only fire you're going to see, I can tell you this for a fact, is the one I will set under your tracks if you don't get a move on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> After all is blown out, a fire will really spread. I feel so helpless. God, they were really big explosions. There's more to come yet. <laughs> Just you wait. She was nearly fully loaded before that naval twit arrived. What's on board will rip her apart. Isn't there anything we can do? Like what, dummy? Anyway, you've done your bit. Just sit back and watch. But it's spreading. And that means puff at the dockside will go up. You're right, ten cents. Come on, everyone. Shout and warn Puffer. Go on, 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 Petros caught fire! And that tank's fully loaded. I must try and get it out to sea. Don't do it! Stay back! If that blows, it'll take you with it! What's that? What's what? That! Yes, guys, be careful. It's a red sky, red sky at night, sailor's delight. The sun went down ages ago. And it's north, not west. Fire! Oh, Really hot. Uh, there's no chance getting a line on it. What does he think he's doing? Don't know, but rather him than me. <laughs> oh, better push it. I've got to get it out to sea. Oh, uh -huh. it's about time you turned up. Give ten cents and he's burning up. Get that thing out of here quick. What do you think I was doing? I'm not here to keep warm, you know. You not stay back. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of moving anyway, mister. Who's responsible for this then? Him. Behind me. Blue Nose. Oh, him. Him who gives all the orders. Well, he won't be giving any more now. He's in shock. Sunshine, get the fire barge and start dousing that building. It's going to blow any second. On me way, sir. We've got to try and stop the fire from spreading. 
I'm taking this out to sea, sunshine. Take care. What's those planes back there? Hey, what you've got there looks far more dangerous than me. I'll have to bomb, man. Just leave it, will you? I'll leave. be okay. Cut the chat. Sunshine, get that barge working. Steer it between the flames, then swing it round. Yes, sir. Fire, fire. Just in time, warrior. Use your fire hose on that barge and the oil yard. Quick! Listen, right away, sir. What do me best, huh? <laughs> now, there's two things wrong with that order, mister. Warrior don't move fast. His lights may be on, but there's no one there. <laughs> At least he's in there, Soren. Hey, the building's on fire now! Oh, I, I can't seem to stop it! It's oh. Just keep playing water on it, sunshine! Stop the spring! Stop the spring! Warrior, get out of here! It's gonna blow! I can control it, so don't worry. Well... I've got to look after Papa. He's a mighty valuable and good friend. Got to look after your friends, you know. OK, warrior. Here, Zoran, give me a hand with this fire barge. We've got to try and save that trapper. <laughs> Can't see this barge doing much good, mister. <laughs> but you're in charge. Go on, Zoran. Sure moves a real hero. Oh, this is getting too dangerous. <laughs> the tank's blistering badly. I'm not starting to smoke. It's gonna go any second! I've gotta get out of here! Ten cents! It's ten cents! The oil barge! I must have... Stay put, sunshine! You're needed here. But he might need help! Stay where you are! Move up, Soren! She's gonna kill over any moment now! There's nothing more we can do! Stand clear, everyone! Stand clear! She's going! Yeah, that's nothing compared with what could have happened. If Sunshine and Warrior hadn't contained the fire, it could have easily spread to the city. Well done, all of you. Oh dear. Seems I'm too late to save the day. What a pity. <laughs> well, well, well. Get a drift of that, will you, lads? Top hat, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, look at <laughs> <it>. nice. <laughs> Ten cents should have been back by now. We must all salute a very brave Tug, who saved us from... Hey, I know that whistle! It's... It's Ten Cents! Ten Cents, what a mess! What happened? Well, just after I started reversing, it blew to smithereens. Nearly took me with it. Lights went out, water in the engine. I didn't know if I could make it back, but thanks to Grampus, I did. Yeah, you're the luckiest tug around, lad. And probably the bravest, too. Well, I've been used for a few strange jobs before, but never have I brought in a switcher and taken away a twitcher. <laughs> the accident was caused by a few hasty words and bad temper. Orders may be orders, but they don't supersede common sense. Blue Nose was right in his way, as were Ten Cents and O.J. right in theirs. But common sense from all three would have prevented the fire starting. Always respect fire. If you don't, it will destroy you, your surroundings, and your friends.
coming soon to Cartoonito, Cartoon Network's home for preschool. Buckle up. My wheels are turning and, and my rubber's burning. For a really big adventure. Meet the Bat Wheels. When this team works together, let's burn rubber. Nothing can slow them down. It's quiet. Too quiet. I can make some noise if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Bat Wheels. Premieres Monday, October 17th at 9 on Cartoonito. And next day on HBO Max. IHOP's ultimate breakfast tastes like... <laughs> With eggs, hash browns, and IHOP's signature bacon that smells like <laughs> ultimate break feasts. They're like breakfasts with a little more <laughs> IHOP. We could all use a pancake. I'm looking for something, something unusual. Something wonderful. Something magical. A singing crocodile. In the shadow of the city. Don't worry, I'll be back. Welcome to your new home. There are wonders that are. To the new tenants. This is my crocodile. His name is Lyle. That was awesome! I swear to you, he's not dangerous. He's a crocodile. You won't even see him. He's nocturnal. <laughs> and he can sing. At the top of the world tonight, when no one ever has to hide, there is treasure you can find in something someone left behind. Are you sure this is safe? Who wants to be safe? We're here to live, and living is a dangerous business. Whoa. Where's my cat? <clears throat> it's his first time in a taxi. If you two are happy, then I'm happy for you. I'm fine. <laughs> why it's coming out all loud and squeaky because really i'm fine <laughs> coming soon to cartoonito cartoon network's home for preschool buckle up my wheels are turning and, and my rubber's burning. burning for a really big adventure meet the bat wheels when this team works together let's burn rubber nothing can slow them down it's quiet too quiet i can make some noise if it'll make you feel better <laughs> Wheels premieres Monday, October 17th at 9 on Cartoonito and next day on HBO Max. The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. When they were rebuilding the old docks in Big City Port, the Star Tugs and the Z Stacks were in great demand. Pulling down derelict buildings, laying foundations with barge loads of stone. Now for this job, I had to use my stronger tugs, so I took Warrior off garbage work to help Big Mac with the rock deliveries. Yeah, Warrior, what a promotion. Great to see you off garbage detail. Thanks. Big Mac and me will make a great team. We'll shift this lot quicker than his head stacks. Well, I don't doubt it, Warrior. But no accidents, eh? Give Big Mac a break. Me? I won't have no accidents. Promise. Right, well, good luck then, Warrior. And remember, be careful. What? Whoops. Of course I'm 
careful. I hope that isn't a bad start to the day for you. I'll do me best, Governor. No damage done. Right, it's full speed ahead. I'll be back for another load before this edge takes no watch at him. Clumsy, I used to be, but... Hey! Watch where you're going! Oh, uh, sorry. It's you should look where you're going. I'm in a hurry. Going? Us? But we're always here. We're shrimping, warrior. Can't stop to argue whose fault it was. Hey, there's Izzy. What a bonus if I can tow him as well. Ahoy, Izzy Gomez, wake up! See, uh, what, what time is it now? Oh, warrior, is you. Want a tow? Give you a good prize? Uh, yeah, yeah, you wake me up to tell me funny jokes, eh? Uh. It's no joke. I'll give you a special rate, say 100. Not even for 10, gringo. Now you wake me so early, I have all this daylight and the sea she very calm. What? You wouldn't go in on your own? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. You are crazy, Izzy. Risking going in on your own for a measly hundred. <laughs> anyway, it's against the law. <laughs> I think she is less risk than you told me, eh, warrior? <laughs> Sunshine, Little Ditcher and Pearl were out dredging in the estuary. And this was a job Sunshine usually enjoyed. Do, do, do. Making good time, all going well. Oh, dear. Hey, uh, stop dredging. Uh, I see a warrior. Oh, huh. Morning, fellas. And Pearl, he looks like it's going to be a great day. Hey, look out! Whoops. Oh, hey, whoops. What are you doing? Oh, you noticed. <laughs> no more garbage for me, at least for now. Captain Stars put me on the rock contract for the new dog foundations. Just what was to be expected, really. Me, such a powerful tug and all. Well, got to go now. Bye! Uh, congratulations, congratulations there, Warrior. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear me. Hey, little ditcher, are, are you all right, eh? Bit dizzy. <laughs> hey, you've got to laugh, though, eh? Look, Pearl, he's going to become the first floating merry-go-round, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks a lot, warrior! Can't stop! Bye! Stand by to receive deliveries. Here comes Mr Demolition himself. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Morning, Coast Guard. Where do you want me to dump this little lot? Ooh. <laughs> right here, one of the cranes can unload it. Where's the empty barge for the return trip? You're the first in. You'll have to go back empty to the quarry. You're too quick for us, warrior. Great. I'll do a couple of deliveries before I go back. Get some more money for Captain Star. It isn't my old amigo, is he? Want a tool? Mm, your stars never let anyone see us in peace. I already tell warrior I no need no tool. Don't blow your stack, only asked. You already promised the tool to another tug. Uh, uh, see, listen, uh, I don't need your tugs fussing around me all the time, okay? Sorry I asked. Go back to sleep, is he? You want to tell me as well, eh, Z-Stex? Get lost, Izzy. Eh, yeah, gringo, been out in the sun too long. Eh, yeah, gringos, who needs them? I think I try to say him to port without a tongue. Keep going, I can cut him with a knife. When you load it up, say when. You're taking on a lot there, Big Mac. <laughs> Nothing to do with you, how much I carry. Uh, just commenting, that's all. Uh, Won't we, lads? All right. Up to him if he thinks he can talk that much. Three zero harbor tugs just to pull two barges. So Warrior and I have got you licked. Two of us can pull that much. Quality and quantity, we'll see by the end of the day. We'll see. 
Uh, watch this, fellas. Uh, uh, I see Warrior's up to no good again this morning. <laughs> He's a menace to every ship in the harbour. The trick was typically Zora. Keep making insulting remarks about Warrior to get Big Mac angry, so as to forget his barge was still loading and settling dangerously low in the water. Yeah, I mean, why doesn't Captain Star sell Warrior off? He's worse than useless. Like useless? He's one of the best workers in the port. Just you remember that, sort of. Hey, Big Mac, what's this? Oh, hello, Grandma. Well, what's up? Your barge is getting low in the water. Oh, no, my barge, I win! Stop loading! You'll have to take some rocks back. My barge is overloaded. Overloaded? <laughs> I thought you were as strong as all of us put together. Didn't say I couldn't handle it. <laughs> Off you go, then. Let us weaklings watch in amazement. Well, right. Stay clear, Grampus. Uh, watch you don't crush you, Grampus. Hey, we may laugh, but with loads like that, we'll never beat them. Don't be so stupid. He can't travel very fast with his barge so low in the water. Any wake will wash over it and sink it, won't it? Hey, yeah, that is devious. Very good, Ten Cents. Now try pulling down a bigger one. Oh, we'll show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you lot. Yeah. Oh, what's he up to? Coming on his own. He doesn't know the channel. Uh, no tug, is he? That's illegal. And stupid. Oh, easy. You're too close to the shore. Yeah, Mira, Mira. You guys is always trying to tell me I need a dog. Move out of my way, please. But there's new rock foundations. Hey, what happened? Ten cents saw he was beginning to list and might capsize. Quick, Scalper, Mighty Mo, give me a line so I won't be able to stop him going over. I'll give you a hand. No, wait, wait. It's your salvage, Ten Cents. You claim it all. Look, never mind, salvage. We need your help too. Come on. You can do it, Ten Cents. <laughs> We've got to help. He can't manage. You're right. And we will salvage both. Shouldn't have let Zoran trick me into taking such a heavy load, Grampus. You're doing all right. Just keep it nice and steady. Good thing the harbour's so flat today. Any waves in this barge will be awash and sink for sure. Yes, you're lucky. Oh, no! Warrior, slow no, down! No, no! Oi, Big Mac, you beat those edge decks. I'll have another load in no time. Warrior, watch out your wake. You'll sink my barge. What's happening? I told you to slow down. Your wash sank my barge. But I, uh, Big Mac, sorry. You'll have to get a crane. I'll back up to mark the spot where the barge sank. Izzy was in a dangerous situation. He could have gone over if Ten Cents hadn't been quick-witted and thrown a couple of lines around the old buildings to keep the tramp steamer upright. <laughs> Old Dizzy was some handful. Look out! He's slipping! Keep your ropes tall or we'll all go down! It was clear that Ten Cents and the cranes were not going to be enough to hold Dizzy. One rope was already giving way. Come on, Zip! Zark, help me out! I'll have to go ask Captain Zero. It's your salvage. Never mind, salvage. Touch should help each other. I'll get help. I'll get Big Mac. Ten Cent, you all right? Why aren't those two idiots helping you? Zip and Zug, uh, no, they're waiting for me to become no, a pile of no, junk. No, 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 you don't, no. Yes, well, I report them for this. What for? Ten Cent said it was his service. He did, didn't he, Zip? Well, yes, yes. Yeah, well, you said that, not me. I can't get under there, Ten Cent. I'm too tall. But Lord Stinker can help. Oh, what a stink. I'd rather sink. I think it's time we took over, Zip. Ready when you are. Ten cents! Hang on, ten cents! Great timing, Zug. You've blown it. Hang on, ten cents. I'll have you out in the jiffy. No, wait, warrior. It's too risky. Too dangerous. Back off. 
Or you come under with me? No fucking help me. You're doing it. It is moving. I don't believe I'm saying this, but good work, Warren. It looks as though we've lost our salvage. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look after yourself, Warren. Get clear. We're not going to mess this up. Like he's got it under control. Oh, I couldn't have lasted this long without him. Party move! Scuttlebutt, take the strain on these roads. Aye, aye, Governor. Shut up, Mario! <laughs> the hulk of Izzy Gomez, full of bananas, was at last forced back off the rocks by the three star tugs. You've done it! I reckon this makes up for sinking my barge, Warrior. I reckon it makes up for everything. What's up here? Another of Warrior's disasters, eh? Hey, look here, you guys. It was Ignore them, Warrior. We all know it wasn't your fault. It's you zeros of the disasters. What? Yeah. Zip and Zug have oh, lost no, you your no, chance no, at the no, rock no, contract. Please. Their behaviour has been despicable. I couldn't have put it better myself. As for you, Izzy, I'll report this. Coming in without a tow means a hefty fine. <laughs> <laughs> It would be nice to prove to Captain Star that I can handle a lot more jobs on my own. Oh, I've made 14 trips today and no more mistakes since this morning. At least no more that I know of. Getting tired now. Can hardly keep my eyes open. You stupid old rust up. Why don't you know where you're going? <laughs> what do you mean, where am I going? <laughs> I've been anchored off here for two years. Oh, well, uh, yes, sorry. It's been a long day. The master dozed off. <laughs> oh, clumsy old tug, that warrior. We wouldn't half be boring without him. <laughs> Warrior might have bumped into things, but I couldn't have done without him. He was a valuable member of my Star Tug team. <laughs> a striker, you might call him. Tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Dender rocks was dangerous to shipping before they placed lightships there to mark them. Lily lightship was special. She was equipped with a loud foghorn and a bright light which could be seen for miles and miles around. I had the contract to keep her ship shape and shining, which kept both ten cents and sunshine busy with the fuel barge. Without this fuel, her light would go out. Oh well, that's it, Lily. Now you can show us the way home. What would we do without you, eh? Nice to be appreciated, boys. <laughs> You'll be in the regatta parade, I suppose. I never see any of it from out here. Uh, pity that. 
We'll stick a light in Foghorn on sunshine and then Karimia. <laughs> so you can. Hey, do you mind? I'm in the parade too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, must try and get back in. Aye, bye, Lily. Huh? We'll tell you all about it. Bye, boys. Hope to see you soon. Later that night, a thick fog came down. As she was thinking about all the fun they were going to have, Lily thought she heard something. It was the throb of a tramp steamer rapidly approaching her through the dense fog. She sounded her horn again and again, but there was no reply. Then, suddenly, out of the fog, the tramper appeared. With a sickening thud, it glanced her side, cutting a huge hole in it. The tramper sped towards Demder Rocks. It was going too fast to avert certain disaster. The tramper tore into the rocks, rested for a moment, then, with an unhappy sigh, slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Lily was now in a perilous condition. Water had seeped into her power room and her light fizzled out. All she could do now was wait for help. Dawn arrived. Lily looked around anxiously, but there was no one to help her. Suddenly she saw lots of bubbles on the surface quite close to her. It was Grampus, the naval submarine. Mayday! Grampus! Mayday! What the? Lily, you're, you're... I'm sinking, Grandpa, sinking. Please help me, please. Nasty hole, Lily. Right on your waterline. If I try to tow you in, you'll ship my water and sink. Well, go and get help, quick. Mm. Just a minute. I've a better idea. If I can plug it with my nose, it might do the trick. No, you'll damage yourself. Don't worry about me, Lily. It's going to work. I'm stopping the bulk of the water getting in. You've already shipped quite a bit in here. I'm pumping out my ballast tanks to keep us afloat till real help comes. Oh, thank you, Grampus. Thank you. Help was indeed on its way. A small fishing boat had seen everything and was now speeding towards the port to inform the Coast Guard. Back at the Star Dock, preparations were afoot for the festival. Top Hat was amusing everyone with his antics, when suddenly they were interrupted by a shrill whistle from the Coast Guard messenger. There's an emergency! Lily Lightship is sinking! The captain is correct! She is sinking! The Zeros can't help! So address yourselves to the problem and get organised, OK? That's it! You'll have to forget the festivities for a while! I say, is it an outrage? This is an emergency job! I see. OJ, What's up? collect Mighty Mo. Right, you Ten are, sir. cents. Get a timber barge from Lucky's. What, right, sir? That's all we need. An interfering star. Ten Zip, zag, block him. Yeah, boss. Little bit, boss. Make wait, you two. Zoran, there's an emergency. Always is with you. Lily's sinking. Look, I need a timber barge fast. Yeah, that one there will do. What? <laughs> no, it won't. It's being unloaded for us. I'm taking it anyway. Complain to Captain Star if you want to. I'll do worse than that. I'm reporting you to Captain Zero. Despite the serious nature of Lily's accident, when Ten Cents arrived, he could hardly believe his eyes. It looked very funny to him. Oh, it looks like a team fish round you, Lily. Very funny. It's OK, Grampus. Ten Cents will pull you out. Just hang on a while longer. Make it soon. My head's giving out. Now listen carefully. I'm going to lift Lily a bit. Ten cents, attach a line to Grampus, and on command, pull him out. Right, mighty mo. OK, Grampus. On the count of three, ten cents will pull you free. One, two, three! Oh, oh, I just... oh, 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 he's really jammed oh, in. You can do it, ten cents. Oh, oh he's moving now. Yay! Oh, that's it. Yay! 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grampus, my hero. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's not over yet. She's badly holed, and I don't think we can do much at sea, even with the timber. Lily, we'll have to take you to Lucky's yard. Ten cents, you too, mighty mole. I'll pull her on the bowline. 
Grampus, you better have a quick inspection as well, just in case. Oh, I'm all right. Just a bit scraped, that's all. Psst. This might be your lucky day, Lily. <laughs> you might get to see the regatta. Shh. Well, everyone might think I did it deliberately. Whilst the rescue of Lily Lightship was going on, Warrior was surprised to find Jack the Grappler, the garbage scooper, basking in the sun instead of working on the heaps of steaming garbage behind him. Morning, Jack. Nice day for garbage. There's no garbage today. What do you mean, no garbage today? There's heaps behind you. No garbage today. But I've got to have garbage. You know, I've got to have garbage. His lordship needs garbage. We all need garbage. It's a festival day or something, so there's no garbage. Is that you, warrior? Uh, yes, sir. It's me, sir. Have you got Lord Stinker with you? He's here, sir. Empty and willing to work, sir. There's no garbage today, right? Well, uh, I can see uh, heaps, uh, piles, stacks, uh, mountains of garbage. You'll see no garbage, warrior. Jack will tell you there is no garbage, eh, Jack? There's no garbage. Repeat after me, warrior. There ain't no garbage. There ain't no garbage. Good. That is settled. Instead, today is Municipal Garbage Day, a festival of garbage. Hey. Municipal Garbage Day falls on the same day as the big city festival. So, to join in all the fun, we, the Garbage Corporation, are going to make our own barge float. No flowers or fancy bits, just prime, colourful garbage. I don't believe this. This is going to take a very long time, so I'd cut your engine if I was you. Must get started now. Heaps to do. Things get stranger and stranger around here. Suppose it is festival day. Bye, Lily. I've got to go and help Big Mac now. Good luck with the repairs. Thank you, Ten Cents. Enjoy the regatta. Oh, yeah, you bet. Looks like you might see the festivities, Lily. They said you're not too badly damaged. You'll probably be ready tonight. Ooh, I hope they take a bit longer. Then I'll definitely be able to stay. You're far too important to navigation. Come on, Grampus. You better move out or the Navy will be after you. Don't worry, they know where I am. I think. Ten Cents was quick to find Big Mac and told him all about Grampus and Lily as he went about his work. They were suddenly interrupted by a shrill blast from Blue Nose, the naval tower. Ahoy there! Ahoy! You there! What do you want? We can't stop, I'm afraid. There's loads urgent. I quite understand, old man. But we are looking for one of our submarines. He is called Grampus. Yeah, I ain't seen him since we left Lucky's Yard. He saved Billy really Lightship from sinking. So he's probably taking a well-deserved break somewhere. Ah, oh, that may be so. But he is one of ours, you know. He is not a civilian plaything. Okay, Blue Nose, that's enough. We haven't seen him, so make wake, okay? My work's important. Oh, your work's important. <laughs> what you need, laddie, is a lesson in naval discipline. Aha! Uh -huh. What has we here? When... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. Huh? That is correct. What? But he's been a hero out there with Lily, and you lot are going to blow him up. That's some kind of thanks. No, you civilian lot may not understand this, but us naval types know when we are past it. Instead of rotting in some breaker's yard, we volunteer us for gunnery practice. Targets, you know. But that's not fair. He's still a useful submarine. He does lots of things for us. For you, maybe. For us, he's old and out of date. Now, I can't stand around here I'll join with you all day. Maywark's important. Big Mac will understand that, won't you, sir? Come on, Grampus. Back to base. Target practice at 1,400 hours. Yes. Grampus! Grampus, don't go! Dive and hide! It's no use. Did catch up with me again somewhere. Thanks for all the fun we had together. Bye, Ten Cents. Bye. Bye. Listen, we can't let this happen. I'll handle the barges. You go off and find OJ. Tell him about Grampus. He'll know what to do. We'll save our mate, Grampus, if it's the last thing we do. Right, Big Mac. Ten cents rushed off to find OJ. Every minute was valuable now, especially as a plan had to be devised. He used every ounce of steam to speed across the port and was soon at the star dock. OJ, they're gonna blow up Grampus. Who is? Blue Nose in the Navy. He said so at 1,400 hours today. I'll do something, OJ. Big Mac said you'd know what to do. <laughs> know what to do? <laughs> 
I know just what to do, but we'll need to move fast and also be a bit brave. Come on, let's go. Topat, don't loiter. We need you as well. Oh, really? How inconvenient. First Lily, now Grampus. It's just too, too much. I'll never make the show on time. O.J. explained his plan to them both. Ten cents was sent to Lucky's yard and once again had to confront the snarling Zoran. Not again. What is it this time? See this barge with logs on it? Well, we need it. Oh, I know. Captain Star needs it for his toothpicks, eh? No, I need it. Yeah, he needs it, all right. <laughs> Listen, I'll give it to him. You take that and his two items of theft report to Captain Zero. I told you, I don't care. You will when he gives Captain Star an earful. Yeah, you bet you will. He'll sink you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm taking it anyway. Oi, just leave it there. Never knew ten cents is into daylight robbery, did you? Get on with your work, or there'll be daylight robbery out of your pay packets. Oh, no, really. Now, that is the plan. It'll work, but it may be dangerous. Yes, well, I don't know if we should interfere, really. But we must. He's our friend. Friends are valuable, man. Oh, all right, then. One for all and all for one. Now, let's get on with it. I don't want to miss the regatta, especially as I'm leading huh? it. Now, stop whinging, Top Hat. You'll be back in time. Ah, ten cents. Good. Big Mac, now th that is the log barge. Ten cents, put a big white flag at each end of it. Hurry, time's running out. Roy. Well, Grampus, you've been a very good submarine. Ha oh, ha, we're all sad to see you go. But as you know, the Navy's got no further use for such a small vessel. Proud to have been of service, sir. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like some time to think. Oh, very well. And good luck, lady. If the modern Navy's gonna be like him, I'd be better off down with the fishes. What? I see. Why are they parading out here? They're gonna be in the line of fire! Stay clear! It's the destroyer warning us we're in the danger zone! Ignore it! What do you mean? And get a direct hit! No, thank you very much! And look, they're gonna fire! Keep going, Top Hat! The more of us here, the safer we are! Get clear! They're about to start firing! Yes, what? Grampus, just do as I say! Give him a line! Ten cents! Oh, right, oh, Joy! Big Mac will leave the barge in your place. Let's hope all they see from that distance is the target flags. Right, keep moving! The Navy's not going to like this. Just leave me here or you'll all get into trouble. Please, don't do it! At last. Now, where do we hide, Grampus? Oh, no, here's that awful Zorn and his cronies. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this in? What's going on? Clear off, Zorn. It's our business. No, it's not. Deal's a deal. Ten cents said he let us in on it. No, I never. You lot are up to something. And anyway, you owe us for two barges of timber. Move aside, Top Hat, and let me see. Mind your own business, Zoran. I am. This is my business. I'm looking for my timber. Well, it is near. Just back off and leave us alone. All we've got here is our float for the show. <laughs> Some float, hey? Stealing government property, eh? Nice little number, boys. Very nice. That's the third crime to report. Captain Zero will tell the Navy... Move it, Zoran, old boy. Uh, only a game, you understand, Hercules? I know all about your game, Zoran. Beat it and take your driftwood with you. Oh, I'm going to. You'll hear about it from the Navy. Don't worry. Yes, I'm off as well. We should far too much time already. All right, my dears. I don't think I'll wait around for answers. I want to be in the show today, too. You can tell me all later. Now, where's Warrior got to? Warrior? Warrior? Yes, sir. Uh, let's do a quick check. Barge completed with colourful oil drums and streamers. Yes. Is Lordship spick and span? Yes. Jack wearing colourful hats? Yes. 
good. Well, that is it. I just don't believe this. What are they going to say when they see this junk heap? <laughs> Well, I like the banner. Municipal garbage wishes you all a happy day. <laughs> hey, warrior, you can go now. The regatta's about to start. Just join it and be proud of the Municipal Garbage Corporation, all right? On your way now and good luck. Thank you, sir. It's been uh, um, a most enjoyable day. <laughs> nice job, then. Very nice job. I can enjoy my day now. Good luck, Warrior. Hello, everyone. This is the Princess Alice welcoming you to the annual regatta. Thank you. Now you know the drill. When the cannon fires, the parade will start. This year, Top Hat from the Starfleet will lead off. Enjoy yourselves. There goes Top Hat, followed by shipmates OJ, Big Mac and Warrior, all towing splendid barges. They're followed by Zack from the Zero Fleet, towing the Corporation Lightship. Here comes Sip and Zug, the Zero Switchers, towing a new upriver breakfast, wood and bananas. <laughs> Following them comes a colourful group, Ten Cents and Sunshine, towing Little Ditcher and Sally Seaplane. Hello, Sally. And Hercules just by himself. Never mind, Hercules. Maybe next year, OK? Coming from the famous Bridge Cafe is Zora, towing the loudest barge of the day. Nice music, guys. Very nice music. Well done, everyone. You all look splendid. The Princess Alice considers this to be the best year yet. This means, and hold it, yes, that you've all won a prize. OK, OK, thanks to you all. Now, enough parading. Let's get this party going. When nighttime came, O.J. gathered all the other star tugs around him outside Lucky's yard. None of them really knew what was going on. All right, Lily, do your bit. Hello, boys. They repaired me in record time so I could see the regatta. <gasps> you all look splendid. Oh, thanks what are you. you? Oh, it's Krampus and he's got the star flag. They didn't blow me up today. The Navy sold me to Captain Star, so I'm one of you now. Oh, well, right. on, yeah, Krampus. <laughs> for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. City port never ceased working. Operations carried out throughout the night were continued in the early mornings. Goods stacked high along the docksides were brought into port by road and by rail. The lorries and wagons were then reloaded with cargo from incoming tramp steamers, ferries and liners, 
for delivery to inland cities and towns. Everyone and every method of transport played a part in moving goods into and out of the port. The work of our tugs was an important link in the chain. It was non-stop and round the clock. The lifeblood of the whole operation was coal. Without this dirty stuff, industry would have ground to a halt. On this very busy day, Big Mac arrived at the briefing having worked all night. You know, it never fails to amaze me. Every day I see something new. Today it's the sight of a floating sack of coal, no less. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd been shifting coal, you'd be dirty. <laughs> well, at least you don't smell that something. <laughs> 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 Look here, Top Hat. Of course you don't smell, Top Hat. Coal don't have a smell. I know it doesn't worry her, but he could get a hose down before coming to join us. We Star Tugs have a reputation to keep up. Even you, Warrior, after a day in the garbage yards, don't look too scruffy. No. Oh, you worry about us keeping that piece of glass in your eye clean. Not only my monocle, all of me. Of course, you always get out of nasty jobs, don't you? All right, all right, cut the back chat. <laughs> uh, at least one star tug's already been working. <laughs> well, we can see that. Yeah, that's enough, Top Hat. You go and stretch your neck with car ferry duties. <laughs> then take the garbage barge to the city dump. That'll be nice for you. Garbage? Me? Do I have to put up with this? I have to put up with you, Top Hat. Yeah. Top Hat, why do I always have an argument with you? Now, yes, move sir. out. Good Come apologies. on. I'm so sorry. Bye, Top Hat. Yeah, but I don't see why... Get on with it. Oh, well, here goes. <sighs> Some people are so tiresome. <laughs> you know, to be fair to him, he does work as hard as we do. Really? We know. It's just his attitude gets too much sometimes. OJ, load up the new propeller from Lucky's Yard and take it to the liner and dry dock. Sunshine, Ten Cents needs your help over at the storage depot. When you finish, go help OJ. Don't waste any time, Sunshine. I need all the help I can get with that propeller. OK, OJ, we'll be there. Warrior, Big Mac, your job's the most important. You know we're competing for the steel company's contract. Show that Star Tugs can handle big steel loads better than Z-Stacks, huh? Warrior, see you get your loads across the bay without any mishaps. Be careful, don't forget, it's a very high tide today. Don't try anything rash. Off you go. Right, quick wash down, then we'll show those Z-Stacks, eh, Warrior? Yeah, we will. I'll hose you down as we travel along, Big Mac. That'll save a bit of time, eh? <laughs> It was a high tide, highest in years. Ten cents in sunshine found the quayside flooded, and they would have to work twice as hard to rescue their barge load. On the other side of the harbor, the steel company was preparing for its move to its new works across the bay. Big Mickey was the yard's biggest crane. He had just finished placing a very tall and heavy bridge section onto a barge. It was now loaded and ready to move off. The Z-Stacks were in charge of this operation. Well, 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 the Star Tugs. Yeah, what time do you call this, eh? You needn't have bothered. There's no work for you. We've got it all sewn up. Yeah, you said it, Zack. We've as much right to go for this contract as you have. Think you'll do a better job, Big Mouth? You ain't got no chance. Three against one, see? No chance. What do you mean, three against one? There's only two of you. Well, you don't do much except get in the way, warrior, so we count you on our side. <laughs> Can't stop here all day. We've work to do. So long, losers. <laughs> Zack's engine doesn't sound too healthy, warrior. Hey, Big Mickey, how about a real fast load-up? I'm ready for you. I heard what they said. Hope you beat them to it. We will, no problem. You be careful, warrior. That's some high load you've got there. Just take it easy. We'll catch those Z-Stashies, see if we don't. 
You're all loaded up, guys. Good luck. You can bet on it. Thanks, Big Mickey. Told you about your engine sack. You should have had a seat too. Nothing wrong with it. Anyway, I've got an idea of fool loads to listen. If we cut through the canal, we'll get there first. Got to. If they follow us, they can't get past because it's not wide enough, right? Brilliant. I don't know how you do it. Hey, let's go. Why do we tell Captain Zero how we beat them? See, we're catching them. What are they up to? They're heading for the canal. I know that. That's it. They're taking a shortcut. All right. We'll follow them. No, we won't. They won't get through. It's high tide. So what? Bridges, warrior. Bridges. So what? High tide, high load. Oh, yeah. Bridges. Ten out of ten. They won't get that load under, will they? Let them go. They'll have to come back. And we'll be out of sight. Several bridges spanned across the canal. The lowest one carried the railway. The Z-Stacks hadn't connected their tall load with the tide, the highest of the season. Top Hat was coming towards them from the opposite direction, with a wide load as well as the garbage barge. There was no way the Z-Stacks and the Star Tugs could pass each other. When they did come face to face, someone was going to have to go back the way they came. They first saw each other at the bend leading to the railway bridge which had the lowest arch over the canal. Top Hat stopped when he saw the Zed stacks. Go into reverse if you please, it's my water. I repeat, it is my water. We're heavier. My load is wider. You have five seconds to back up. But, well, so have you then. Right, five. They made it, Top Hat. I am coming through. Four. So am I. Three. We'll see. Two. One. Get to the bridge fast, Sam, and you've got him. Watch my wake. That's the half many's match. Both Zebedee and Top Hat put on full power and searched forwards towards each other and the bridge. Top Hat looked at low. He's going to hit! Hold on! I'm going into reverse! Oh. He's back enough, didn't I tell you, Zack? Didn't even make a fight of it! <laughs> oh, no. I see why now the bridge said... Reverse engines! Quick! Oh, no! I can't stop! That's real zero thinking, W. Uh, suppose Zack and I'd better go and get some help. That's a mail train, isn't it? Oh dear, the bridge. It's. It's. Wait a minute. I've got it. If I can get that steel rig under the bridge, maybe it'll hold while the train gets across. It's worth a try. And don't waste time cutting me free. Take me with you. You'll take that risk, Tinker? Of course I will. It's only rubbish. Top Hat's idea was to try and prop up the bridge if he could get the steel rig into place before the train got there. It was signaled through, so there was no way anybody could stop it. The bridge was weakened by the accident. Top Hat could only hope his idea would work. There was no way of warning the train.
That was lucky. Well done, Top Hat. You saved the... But uh, no! Oh, look out! Oh, this is terrible! Oh, no! I know that was all! It's the Dutch train! to save that train. How oh, I say. I'll never complain about your smell again. Rubbish can be valuable stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's been a hard day. Mm. But we're all cleared up now. Yep. I bet everybody else had a really easy day waiting for the tide to go down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet Top Hat delivered Lord Stinker, then moored up somewhere quiet. Yeah. Somehow he always manages to take it nice and easy. Next day, work started on the bridge. There was no serious damage to the goods engine and its wagons were easily recovered from the canal. The steel company weren't pleased with the damage the Z-Stacks had done to their steel rig. However, it came out all right in the end. The steel company got the contract for repairing the bridge and <laughs> I had no difficulty in convincing them that my star tug should get the contract for delivering the steel. IHOP's ultimate breakfast tastes like <laughs> with eggs, hash browns, and IHOP's signature bacon that smells like <laughs> ultimate breakfasts. They're like breakfasts with a little more <laughs> IHOP. We could all use a pancake. If you two are happy, then I'm happy for you. I'm fine. <laughs> why it's coming out all loud and squeaky because really i'm fine <laughs> coming soon to cartoonito cartoon network's home for preschool buckle up my wheels are turning and, and my rubber's burning. burning for a really big adventure meet the bat wheels when this team works together let's burn rubber nothing can slow them down it's quiet too quiet i can make some noise if it'll make you feel better <laughs> Wheels premieres Monday, October 17th at 9 on Cartoonito and next day on HBO Max.